Hello Canadian gardeners, cold climate gardeners, and gardeners of the extremes. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things gardening, but also plant care. This is my trusty sidekick, Ella, who joins in on some of the videos and she would love if you hit that subscribe button down below. The merch is out. If you guys want to grab that, be sure to check out that link down below. It helps support the channel in any way, shape, or form that you would like to. There's face masks, t-shirts, tank tops, bunny hugs, sweaters, you name it. Not an obligation, completely optional. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about fall bulbs and specifically what we need to do to ensure their survival, what happens if we forget to plant them, and even some solutions for people that are living in a zone where it doesn't freeze enough to warrant a fall bulb, but you like something like a black tulip, for example. So let's jump right into exactly what I'm deciding to plant for fall bulbs this year. I'm going to be doing garlic, the alium, and that's about it. So I saw the alium at a cut flower ranch type thing. That's what kind of decided me to get those. They're really pretty. And then the garlic I wanted to try, have never tried them before. So this will definitely be a first for me. But with the fall bulbs, it's really simple. All you need to do is follow the instructions on the back of the package. The main goal is to establish some form of roots with not a lot of above ground foliage. If you establish too much above ground foliage, you're actually taking away from the energy reserves in the ball, which may mean that it will not survive the cold winter in your area. So we want to establish roots and just a tiny bit of above ground mass. So that means anywhere from four to eight weeks is ideal when it comes to bulb planting. Right now we're at the beginning of October and we have an unseasonally warm fall for us Canadians here in zone three. So I'm actually gonna be planting these this weekend. When I plant them, that's going to give me what I'm going to estimate to be four weeks before the frost hits. And that is more than enough time to get the bulbs going and get some sort of root development happening. The importance of this is so that when it does begin to thaw and the soil does begin to release some of its water into the profile, the bulbs won't rot. They will actually utilize that nutrients and that water, take it up into the bulb itself, and then eventually produce some form of foliage. Without the root mass, we end up with bulbs sitting in spring mucky mud and therefore rotted bulbs. So if you're noticing that your bulbs are rotting or not coming up and turning into mush, and maybe that you're not planting them soon enough before the fall hits. If you're noticing that you have really shrunken, almost non-existent bulbs in the spring when you dig them up, it's probably because you actually planted them too late, all the energy reserves have been used, and you no longer have a bulb left to speak of. Bulbs need something very special, and it's called vernalization. There's a few different methods that seeds and bulbs use when it comes to freeze-thaw cycles or being able to trigger a life cycle in general. That means germination to vegetative growth to flowering to fruit. So in the case of bulbs, we're looking at vernalization. There's things like scarification and I mean, the list goes on. But vernalization is the process of freezing. So we actually need the bulbs to freeze in order to trigger the life cycle. And that means dormancy in this case. Once we've achieved vernalization, what ends up happening is we are going to trigger the cycle of root growth and then foliage growth and then therefore fruit. That means if you do not get these plants outside, it is in your best interest to actually pluck them into the freezer. And I know that may sound weird, but you are going to need to do that before you even decide to try to germinate these indoors early, either in a potting mix or in the soil outdoors. They need that dormancy period. If you leave them out in the package like this, just on your kitchen table, what will end up happening is you'll slowly see the decline of the bulb because they're alive and they're not dormant. You'll begin to see shrinking and you may even start to see sprouting and it just, they simply will not make it to spring. Regardless if you keep them in a dark, cool place, if they are a bulb meant for a cold zone that does freeze, you do want to put them into the freezer. It's a great way to store them and that goes for the garlic and the alium and any of your bulbs that you may have. This is also the secret to keeping bulbs or growing things like tulips in a warm climate. If you do not have a winter, but you love the look of a tulip, you love the look of an alium, a crocus, whatever the case is, consider 
making a portion of your freezer for bulb storage. Very simple, very easy. You will trigger the fertilization, which means you will trigger the life cycle. So in summary, essentially all we're looking for is planting the bulbs in the ground four to eight weeks before the frost hits. If we notice in the spring that our bulbs are looking very swollen and very mushy, it probably means we didn't plant them soon enough. But if we dig them up and they look really shriveled and non-existent, it means we probably planted them too soon. We want to trigger the life cycle by using vernalization. So whether that be actually planting the bulbs outdoors at the appropriate time or keeping them in the freezer till it's time to put them in potting soil, that is completely your choice. And it's dependent on your schedule as well. When it comes to starting out the bulbs that you decided to store in the freezer because you are in a warm climate or because you forgot to put them in the ground or you just simply got too busy, then time is completely up to you. It depends on when it starts warming up outside and exactly when you want to see those spring blooms. So I kind of suggest following mother nature. Once mother nature starts warming up, you start seeing a little bit of frost lifting from the soil and maybe time to put them in a potting soil in a warm scenario or a warm climate. But that's all I have for you guys today. Super short video, but it needed to be done. Wish me luck with planting these guys. I'm going to have to smash this garlic up and ugh, all that fun stuff. But if you guys want to see a video on that, be sure to let me know in the comments below. You have like four days to let me know if you want to actually see the footage of me putting these in the ground. Um, I do do footage outdoors. I just turn all my mic off, mics off and I usually do just voiceovers. The sun is getting real wild here. And the actual reason for that is because I live by an airport and there's literally train tracks over there. And then there's a freeway like right there. So anytime I record outside, it's very, very noisy. <laughs> so in order for me to do it, I end up just shutting the mic off and doing a voiceover version. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know and I will be sure to get that to you. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you next time. Bye.